Signal around the globe. Direct from New York City. New York City. It's Brad Blanks. Brad Blanks and I have here... Mike Massimino. Yeah, Mike, you're an astronaut? I am, yes. Yeah, when you were studying, did you, uh, Stephen Hawking popped up a lot in your readings and studies? Yeah, he did. I'm more of an engineer than a scientist, so right. it's kind of like my relationship with... I, I don't have a really, I don't know, I don't know Dr. Hawking, but uh, but I admire him very much, and I admire the work he did. And I, I see like the combination of engineering and science. The engineers kind of build stuff. I like building right. stuff. I was an astronaut who spacewalked on the Hubble Space Telescope. You did? Yeah, I did. So it makes these really cool discoveries. But I don't look through the people ask me astronomy questions. I don't look through the telescope. I just fix it. Okay. So, but a guy like Dr. Hawking will look through the telescope and analyze its data. If they didn't do their thing, we wouldn't have a reason to go to space. So, do you, do you yeah. tell people uh, when you're at, meet people at dinner parties and that that George Clooney essentially played you in Gravity? I don't say that, but you can say that all you want. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to disparage Mr. Clooney. I admire him very much, but that's a great rumor. Keep it going. Yeah, it's a great rumor. Yeah. Do you feel when you watch that movie? I like that movie. Did you like that movie? I love Sandra Bullock's underwear. Yeah. Did yeah? We don't wear underwear like that. You know, we wear a, a diaper underneath our spacesuit, and then, and then like polypropylene long johns, and then a cooling garment on top of it. But I don't think that would have. I don't. I'm not a movie guy. But I don't know if that would have been such a uh, such a good a scene as it. Little tidy things for you up there in space. Like no, you, no, 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 not not quite. Like, it's more we're more we're worried about function than we are look. In the movie business, I think they're more worried about look. In terms of that first moment when you were up in space and lack of gravity hit you and you just yeah. weightlessness. Well, yeah. yeah. What that feel like? Well, when that first happens, uh, I was still in my seat and I was strapped in. And so to reference another movie, Apollo 13. I remember at Apollo 13 when the, when the engines cut and Tom Hanks is floating. His, he's still in his, he takes his helmet off and he floats it in front of him. So that's what I did. I took my helmet off and I floated it in front of me. And it's still attached to me, though, through a comm cord, right? Because of communication cord. Then I took my glove off and I floated it in front of me like he did. I took another glove off and floated it in front of me and realized I couldn't find the first glove. So I'm not taking anything else off until I can keep track. Because stuff floats, uh, stuff floats around. But that was your Tom Hanks moment. Like Tom Hanks, I was like, enough of this movie stuff.